Hello guys and welcome to Blue Block. Today the topic will be putting limits on variables. Now that sounds that, that sounds important and it is. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and use our project for the last one we did, which was making functions. And when we press the green flag, this score variable keeps going down until we click the screen or the sprite. And this is done by our function or our own block score. Now we want to just just we'll just wait and watch, see what happens. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now it's supposed to stop at zero, but it keeps going into the negatives. We don't want that. We want the score to stop at zero because you have no score. And in order to do that, we're, we're, we're going to want to make a sprite, not a sprite, a variable limit. So to do that, we're going to have to go to when a green flag is clicked. If equal to we don't actually need the or. So we need to have a green flag and then an if statement. So to this we're gonna add if score equals zero, then set score to zero. We're gonna want the score to be set to zero if it equals zero, because we're gonna want it to stay at zero. We don't want it to go anywhere below. So let's try this out. But wait, before we do that, we can see that it doesn't have a forever. So as soon as the green flag is clicked, it's gonna check if it's zero, and then it's gonna set to zero. But if it's not zero, then it's not gonna it's gonna it's not gonna set it back to zero, so it won't go below zero into the negatives. But this it's only gonna happen once when we click the green flag, so we want it to go into forever. So forever, if score equals zero, then set score to zero. Now let's see what happens. Now it keeps going down below even though it's supposed to set to zero, and this is because we have it equal to zero. If score is equal to zero, it's gonna set score to zero. If it's equal to zero, it's gonna set it to zero. So we're gonna have it we're gonna have the score set back to zero when it's when it's when it's equal to zero. But it's still gonna go below. Because we don't have a we don't have a less than. We want a less than. So we're gonna need the or. Took it out last time to see if you guys or took it out just a second ago so you guys just to see if you guys would be able to find figure it out. So, or if score is less than zero. So let's put this back in here. And now it won't go down to negative one. It stops and then goes back to zero because it's, 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 it's not supposed to go all the way to negative one. And we can do the same thing when we go to, well, let's see, what do we want the score limit to be once we get too much score? Let's try 50. So we're gonna have the same thing. We're gonna duplicate this. And if score equals 50 or if score, take this out, we want greater than 50. If score is greater than 50, then it's going to set back to 50, so it won't go any higher. Let's try this out. We got to flip this first. Got to get the score all the way to number 50. Now that we have the 50, no matter what we do, it's not increasing higher than 50. So we can't go higher than 50 or less than 0. So that is how you put sprite limits, I mean, I keep saying sprite limits, variable limits on your sprites. I keep getting the names mixed, or the words, yeah, the names mixed up. So with that, you can use this to do like anything like health, like if you're making like a game where you can heal up, you don't want your health to go higher than, for example, I don't know, maybe 90, or depending on how high you want your health to be set at, you don't want the health potion to heal it higher than that, you want it to just be set to that specific amount. So, if the health potion is, I don't know, 10, and you have 90 health, then maybe you don't want your health to be 100% when the po when you have the potion. Maybe it's still at 90 and you just wasted a potion because your max health is 90. I don't know. It depends on what you want your sprite, your variable limit to be. So, with that, remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you later.